What's up guys, my name is AR and welcome back to Knock Knock. Let's get into this. My voice is pretty sore. No idea why, but hopefully it will last us through this episode. So now we're into the third night, I believe. Um, okay, so that was a little cutscene from the last episode. If you guys didn't see it, then... Um, you guys can click the end screen annotation to get to it. My old man gave me this diary when I was first learning how to write. Did he? He said that I would write my entire life down in it, and that with the last page of the notebook, my life would end as well. He was the last now family who was fond of speaking in metaphors. I was very young then and took his words literally. I wanted to live a long life, so I rationed the pages. I wrote only in my smallest handwriting, rarely and briefly. It became a habit. But after a while, I forgot his words, and for some reason, they've come back to me now, and they unsettle me. Okay, I get it. So you thought that by um, writing small and using uh, not all the pages, you would have a long life. I'm so busy. During the day I have to take samples of everything here and I have to check on the composition of the soil and also on the air, water, fauna and flora. Well, okay. Why are you out in the woods though? That's my main question. What seems horrible inside the house will stop scaring you if you go out into the woods. Touch them without fear, open your eyes, not be afraid to look, don't be afraid to see. This is not death, but simply a new time. There is no death. How can these pages be here? Why are they torn? I don't like this at all. Did someone get in the room while I was asleep and steal the diary? Okay, so that was a diary page. Okay, so now I need to check the house for the diary. Maybe it's here. I don't think anything scary is in this world. Besides that knocking. And that roaring. The forest is at the end of its life. It used to be a rich biotope, but now it's dying. I couldn't find any healthy new growth. The land has grown soggy too. All the large species of animals have died out. All that is left are the numerous species of insects. Well, that's bad, man. Why? Better open it yourself. I often address the diary entries to myself, to my older self who one day would read these entries. It was just a game, but now I feel a, that a complete stranger has penned these pages. Okay. I'm just gonna go get the clock. Coming. This house is really. This house is really creepy, by the way. I, I just want to say that. Why? Where? Who? What? Okay, something is up there, I swear. Anything can I on the door or anything? I'm terribly tired. I even started a sleepwalk. Last night I woke up standing right here at the door. If it hadn't been bolted, I would have ended up outside. At night, this door has to be locked securely. Okay, can't do anything with it. Okay, let's do that time. And then we'll go outside. Something is getting closer from the other side. I have to hurry. Okay. Out we go. I'm gonna look for the little girl again. Because I saw her last time. So once again, I'm gonna be quiet, listening for audio clues. There she is, there she is, there she is, there she is. Go to her. I got it, I got it. What? Nash tree, Linky. What the hell is this? Okay, well, some of these are Arabic, some of them is like Hindi. Some are like Chinese letters. That I think is Russian. What? 
From time to time I see things that simply cannot be, sometimes I even see new stars in the sky, but I don't record that in my archives and reports, it's simply depression or maybe it's something even worse. They say it's called somnolence and it can even lead to somnibulism, but this too shall pass. I don't know what the hell that is, but... Okay. Where's the house building? So that's the thing I was thinking about from the last time. The last time I saw the little ghost girl. I didn't interact with her though, so... I guess I didn't get anything from the last one? But that's the thing. Who is she in his life? That's the thing I've been asking. This girl, what, was it like his sister? Or like... I don't know, like... Maybe someone special in his life that he lost in this woods to all of these monsters. Like maybe when he was young, because that ghost girl looks like she's so young. Oh, there's the house. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, did she like die in this forest like years ago? And now that he's this scientist, he came out in the woods to to try to find out what killed her. And now he's stuck with all of this? That's... that might be it. Okay, back to this world that I hate. Oh, God. How big's the house? Ah, oh, great. It's no secret that everyone has to learn proper hide-and-seek technique, it's common knowledge handed down throughout the ages. But even as a child, I had an exceptional talent for this difficult art. To remain undiscovered, remember one important rule. Don't look and then no one will see you. What I can't see isn't there. Strange, but it works. I'll remember that for next time. I'm so scared in this game. No, not brown. The handwriting is made to look like mine, but it's just a little bit off. I didn't write this, that's for sure. I don't like this house. Everything is as it was, but still, it's slightly off somehow. What's changed? Or have I just been too overwhelmed lately? I can't keep anything straight. My memory is going. Oh, you were imagining something? Why did this light go off? Just gonna sit like this. This should be good. I'm by the bed so I can hide. I know you see me. Where are you? You son of a gun. Don't run. I'll be quick. I'm not running, boy. You wanna come find me? Bring it on. I'm right here. I see you down there. I see you on the bottom left. Well, I saw you. I saw you down there. Oh, you're down there, aren't you? Aren't you? I'm trying to find a way up, aren't you? Yeah, I see you down there. You son of a gun. This is the wrong house. I know it's the wrong house. Oh, hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide here. Because there be something over there, right in the doorway. I can't get past it. Where's the other thing? God, I can't even see. It's so dark down there. How do I get rid of you? The forest is creeping inside, but my home is impenetrable. The lights are off, the windows are closed, the doors are locked and bolted. Do I just wait? Hi. How are you doing? M my name's AR. I'm hiding from monsters kind of like you. 
Here we go. You thought about it. And right then, it was inside. I know, I saw that little girl. So wait, yeah, that's my question. No, that's not my question. My question is... Hey! hey. This little girl that's giving me advice and stuff like that. And telling me things like, You thought about it and now it's inside. Or, You need to hide now. Or, It's right behind you. Is that the ghost girl that I see in the forest? Oh, there he is. Hi. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. I nearly did not see you because I was talking to my lovely viewers at home. Hi, how you doing? You guys are beautiful, every single one of you, even though you nearly got me killed. But, yeah, is that what it is? Is this little girl that's giving me advice like, you thought about it, and now it's inside? Or like, this is the wrong house. Is that the ghost girl I saw in the forest? And I don't know where it is. It's gone. Because that would make sense. And my other theory... My other theory would make even more sense then. Hey! My other theory would make even more sense. That she was someone in his life. Either his sister, or like... You know his wife or something like that that got killed in the forest and now he's come back to investigate what killed her and she's helping him to survive I'm done bruh you can make your way to this room I'm done come on look at my time look at my time my time is literally like five seconds more and it's done Or not even five seconds, like three seconds more and it's done. Go away, you little straight jacket, one human foot leg, one wheel leg person. Actually, in the previous thumbnail, the previous episode's thumbnail, I actually did some color corrections in it and I made it brighter and everything like that. And it looks so weird. Oh, I saw that pop up behind me. Alright, it's done. It wasn't too bad of a night. It wasn't too bad at all. Okay. Something new. This is a game which should be played in the dark. Sit in front of the window and close your eyes. Imagine that something new appeared in the inky darkness beyond the window. Say this to yourself. It's there. I simply didn't see it before now. Repeat this until you feel that someone is watching you through the window. Then leave the room. You know, a couple of friends and me were talking about this, like, I told them the first note that I saw in this game, the one where you have to, like, get up and go to each room and think to yourself, I didn't forget anything, and you imagine a face, and then if it's a face, that being will come to live in this home, me and a couple of friends were talking about that, and we all agree that it's so stupid to do. So why did this guy do this? I'm assuming this guy did all this, which is why all of these monsters are now here. So why did he do it? Was he imagining his sister and instead something else came in his mind and now that thing's in his home? I mean, that would make sense. But yeah, anyway, let's see. Got anything to say, buddy? Bing! Okay. You have anything to say? No? Oh, there we go. I really love having guests over. There was a time when little forest things would come to visit. And sometimes I even made dinner for lost wanderers. I would set the table past the time in a conversation with them in my head. That's when I realized more than anything in the world. I'm afraid of the invisible. So, where's the diary now? I've got to find it quickly. Nothing else matters. Okay, but what do you think took it? I mean, this is a big house. So are you sure it's just not lost in your house? I don't know. But anyway, that's something we'll find out in the next episode. Because I am all out of time for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like down below. We'll see what happens in the 
fourth night, I believe. We still have a lot of time to go. I'm assuming that this game will only end when that clock makes a full circle. So, we'll see what happens towards the end of it. Maybe more monsters, maybe it'll get harder, scarier, I don't know. I don't really know, but we shall see together. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed down below. And I will see all of you in the next video. And until next time, game on!